So if you run a salon or a spa business, you will need some sort of appointment scheduling software to help you manage your calendar and also to allow for online booking for your, for your clients. Now, there are many different solutions out there on the market. Some are more expensive, some are more affordable, some even offer like a free plan for individuals. And then there is Fresha, which is like a subscription free salon software for like independently on, on the size of the team. Naturally, a platform that I'm really excited about that has a, has a lot of power. But al always when I hear free, I'm always suspicious, like, will it really be able to do what I needed to do and free, does that really mean free or is there any costs to expect and so on? Um, so that's what I wanted to find out inside this review. Um, so what I will be doing is sharing my screen with you, lead you through like a tutorial of what you find inside Fresha. And I'll also point out some of the like key strengths uh, and the power in, in Fresha and also what some of the limitations are to make sure that you're making a informed call when, when choosing the platform uh, to use in your business. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run the salonbusiness.com as well as this YouTube channel. And this is where we share business tips, ideas, sometimes reviews of products like today, uh, all to help you grow your salon business. So if that is something that is important for you, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out every week when we share new content, new ideas for you here on the channel. What I wanted to talk to you now, uh, what I'm gonna do is to share my screen with you and walk you through like a small tutorial uh, of the platform, show you how things work so that you get familiar with it. Uh, and then towards the end, we'll talk about, you know, some of the really important features in there that is really powerful for you and also limitations that, you know, might be there that could, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's important for you to be aware of. We'll also cover like any costs that you should expect. I mean, it is a subscription free product, but any other costs uh, that are important for you to be to be aware of. Um, I'm also leaving a link in the description to this video to a salon software comparison where I'm including Fresher as well so that you can also see like and compare versus you know other platforms out there again just to make sure that you're making an as you know informed decision as possible but again I'm really excited about this platform and um, so let's dive in and I'm going to share my screen with you and start walking you through uh, the platform. So what you see on the screen is where you land when you go to Fresha.com and, and this is the marketplace, right? This is where salons that are using Fresha are being featured. So clients can come here to find new salons in their area, you know, using the website or using their, their app. Uh, but that's not what we're going to look at now. We're going to go to where it says for partners. So Fresha Partners is, is basically the salon software uh, component of Fresha. It was previously called Schedule, uh, but now it's called Fresha Partners. Um, and, you know, just looking quick before we dive into the tool, um, you'll see, you know, how many partners, you know, they're growing rapidly. Uh, and they're really covering, you know, all the different areas that you would expect from kind of an all-in-one salon software. You have appointment scheduling, point of sale system, inventory management, reporting, payment processing, which is built into the platform uh, and also like marketing tools. So some of the features that they are promoting here is, you know, the online booking, the fact that you can get visible on the Fresha marketplace and how that also can integrate with your social media and your, your website. And uh, you have the payments integrated, which is very helpful, right? So you can charge, you know, no show protection or, you know, pay for pay for your services and, and so on online. Um, and also the like the marketing suite and we will look at all these tools shortly so that's really like how you can communicate with your clients and um, they offer two different apps so one is for clients and one is for you so for the professional and this is most likely what you will be using when running Fresha in your business so that's available for uh, you know Apple devices and for Android devices it's a really great app. They have like, a, I think it was 4.6 out of five stars on Android, 4.3 for Apple devices. Generally, it's a great, it's a great app um, that, um, you know, you, you will be using. Uh, but what we're going to do through this uh, tutorial and review of the system here is to use the web interface because it's just easier for me to share my screen that way. So, uh, you know, what you will do if you don't have a fresh account and you want to create one, you just sign up for free here uh, using that button. And then when you're in, you will land on something that looks like what you see on the screen. So this is kind of the, the home screen. 
and that you first see. Uh, and obviously this is all cloud-based, so I can access this from ev everywhere, which is very helpful. Uh, on the home screen here, you can get a kind of a snapshot of recent sales within the last seven days, appointments uh, coming up and so on. So you have a you know, quick glance of your business here. Uh, you will see that this is in dirham. Uh, most likely you will have that in your local currency. So that could be US dollars or you know, British pounds or whatever your currency is. Um, you know, but that's what, you, that's what you see here. And in fact, the, the platform is available now in 120 countries, uh, supports 20 languages. Um, and there's 27 countries that are now, you know, where FreshEye is supporting payments uh, and, and some, of, some of these features as well. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of the dashboard where you land. Uh, on the left, you have your navigation. So super intuitive uh, to navigate between different parts of the platform, you know, calendar, you know, clients, where you want to go. Uh, and you'll see that kind of at the top of the menu here is all the like, you know, fresh uh, core features. And uh, that is part when you sign up, you know, on this subscription free without any costs, you know, you have access to all of that. Uh, and then at the bottom of the section, you have the Fresh Up Plus features. So essentially what Fresh Up Plus includes are things like um, uh, online booking, uh, credit card uh, processing and payments, SMS, you know, the ability to be featured on the marketplace. Uh, these are the type of things that goes into Fresh Up Plus. Uh, also Fresh Up Plus doesn't have any subscription fees, but there's some other costs that are incurred when you're using some of those features. So we will look closer at that. Uh, you know, when we get to that part of this, uh, of this tutorial today. Uh, but let's start by, you know, diving into the calendar, because I think the calendar is most likely, you know, where you will be spending most of your time. Um, so we should spend a little bit of time there. I will not spend this much time on, you know, all the features. Some I will go over rather quickly. And also, you know, there is, uh, you know, Fresha have uh, YouTube tutorials for very like specific things that you want to do. So I'm not going to like, you know, go through everything in detail. You can use those tutorials. You know, the intent here is more to kind of give you an overview, give you a feel for, you know, if this platform delivers, you know, what, what you need for your business. Um, so anyway, so here you have the calendar. Um, it's super easy to use like you know you can see some appointments on here uh, if you want to move something around you just like drag and drop that if you wanted to change the time for it um, if you wanted to change the, the view so right now we're looking at the day view with working staff you could change that to be kind of a week view uh, right now this is just an example account with a lot of test test data in it uh, but you know you'll see that just one one day that is booked here uh, for the week um, and you can see uh, you know switch between multiple staff view uh, you can adjust kind of the the size of it so if you want to have like you know large a larger schedule or if you want to manage it on a smaller level uh, all that you can you can define and just like jump jump between days uh, up here also if you have multiple locations you can switch between the locations that you have here so here's just a lot of test data uh, and we're just using the salon business now for the purpose of this this tutorial um, so generally like very intuitive you can just hover to get more information about you know the different appointments that you have on your schedule you'll see that I have different colors on the different appointments and that is also something that you can control so right now this is set up to be uh, colored by the type of service you know so certain type of services have one color and others have a different color you could have this based on status for example which could be helpful if you have like a receptionist who want to be able to track you know who has arrived for their appointment who has checked out and not you know then it can be based on status uh, you can also have it colored based on based on staff uh, so you can control that as you like um, but that just gives a nice overview of that and if you wanted to go into an appointment so let's say you know you have a client that you want to to check out even you know you'll just go into the appointment uh, you know you have the the information and you can go on checkout to just check out the customer directly from from the schedule uh, if you wanted to add more items in uh, so if they bought some you know products or something like that during the appointment as well we could include that and then just you know choose the payment option that we want and you can configure different payment options in here you know, pay by card, or if you want to use other methods, you can just check out the customer directly here from, from the calendar. Um, so that's 
you know, real quick uh, on what the calendar looks like generally. I would say really easy to use um, and, uh, you know, very intuitive. So I think you will get a hang on this rather quickly. Um, so let's go through the other parts that you have here as well. Um, so we have the sales tab. And basically what the sales tab does is just gives you a nice snapshot, you know, of the day. Or if you want to look at yesterday in terms of like uh, sales. And uh, you can also look at appointments um, to just go into, now it says to month to date. And you can see all the appointments um, that are, you know, coming into the business. You can see which ones are new, cancelled. Uh, and just, you know, get an easy overview of all the appointments that you have in there. Uh, and then you have other things you can look at if you're using invoices, uh, vouchers and paid plans, which is something we're going to talk about shortly. Uh, but you can easily get kind of a, a, a report for this if you want to look at month to date, week to date, maybe, you know, last month. And you just want to have a nice uh, quick overview of your appointments or of your, of your sales. Um, you know, that's what you use the sales tab for. Um, so let's go to vouchers. So vouchers. Um, you know, you can create vouchers for, um, you know, to allow you to do like gift cards or to have, you know, discounts so people can buy a voucher for certain services, you know, at a certain price. Uh, so let's, rather than me just talking, I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, so we can click in on an existing one. So this is actually how you do it if you want to sell one. So you would go into your vouchers, click on the voucher and just sell a voucher and check it out from here. What we're going to do is now go in and edit voucher just so that you see like how you can configure those. Um, so, you know, you give your voucher a name and you'll give your voucher a value. So depending on, you know, what you're including in terms of services that they get access to with this voucher, you'll have a value for that. And then you can give it a lower price. Like in this case, you know, there's a certain discount. Uh, so they only pay 90, get a value of 120. You can set how long should this be valid for? Uh, should there be a limit to how many sales you know people can make of this? And which services should be uh, applicable here to to this voucher? Like how you know which services can they redeem this this voucher again against? You can configure that. Just configure that here right now. That sets for all your services. Uh, you could of course do a like voucher for a specific category or a specific uh, specific service as well. Uh, and then finally, like, do you want to offer this for online sales um, or should just this just be in the salon? Um, so those are things you can you can configure under your voucher. Um, there's also, uh, you know, you can do a little bit of design. It's, you know, uh, you can change the title, which is basically, um, uh, you know, a title of the voucher, a description. You see it here. Here's your voucher. Um, you'll, you can you can adapt the colors of it if you wanted it to be green. Should you have a book now button on the voucher? Because people will receive this after they buy it via email. Um, so like, do you want to have the book now button? Do you want to include any specific comments or notes for the clients that are important for you? You could enable that, and and that will be added you know to the bottom here. So if I just do the test, you know, that, that's just added there. So that's kind of the customization you can do of those vouchers. So from a design point of view, uh, you know, super easy to create, but you're kind of limited to, to what you see here in terms of, uh, you know, flexibility of, of the design. Um, so yeah, so that's vouchers, easy to, cre easy to create, uh, and you can sell them online. And uh, basically you just go here. If I want to sell that voucher online, I just mark it. I go create link, you, you get a unique link. Uh, where you know you can send people who want to buy that. I think they need to specify location now because this is set up for all locations. Um, and then they just go here, how many they want to buy and continue and, and buy that. So that is the, uh, the voucher feature. And then you have clients. I'm not gonna go deep into this. We could spend a lot of time here. And just want to show you quickly what that looks like. So that's your whole library or you know all your clients. And uh, you can, you know, extract that if you want into an Excel or a CSV file, if you want that client data. And um, if you want to find out information about your client, you just click on the client and you'll have, you know, all the information here. You can see past appointments for this specific client. Um, you can get them booked in for an appointment. You can see vouchers. 
any products they have purchased in the past uh, and and so on um, and you know all the information that you want about it you can add notes to the client uh, it's not so much like room there but there, there is an element where you can add uh, custom notes as well to to the clients if there's some information that you think is important for you know other members of staff or for you to remember at the next appointment there is a text field where you can where you can do that uh, as well so you know that's just real quick on the client uh, database you know what that looks like uh, again very intuitive in terms of uh, you know how, how you how you use that um, and uh, if we go to and maybe I should mention add client so you can add a client manually from here so you know, obviously when they book you online they will create their profile you could also create uh, you know a new client manually set up you know should they be receiving notifications should they be receiving marketing um, you know you can fill all that uh, fill all that in manually as well um, but let's go to staff as well which I also will go rather quick on um, because I don't think there's point to spend that much time here. Uh, here you can manage obviously the schedule for your members of staff if you want to adjust their availability and to set that up on a specific day when a person is available. You can add new staff members in and manage your staff mem members. You can control user permissions uh, so that when people log in, uh, you know what should they be able to access, you know, and what should they be uh, what should they be able to see. Uh, all of that you will be able to to control from here as well um, so you know that's in a nutshell like you know how you manage staff their calendars uh, add new staff in and so on and um, so what I want to spend a little bit more time on that I think is interesting is services so if we go into services uh, you can add uh, like if you wanted to add a new one there's two type of things you can you can create you can create a cat you know service category or a specific service okay so service categories is kind of the headlines that you're seeing here and um, that's also like when a client views your booking page that's how they will be able to navigate to the specific services so also the clients will, will see that and um, so you know that's you know the first step what you can create uh, next level you can also add different like pricing variations on different services you'll see here like for the shave example here you have a short hair long hair you know certain you know time difference and, and price difference so you can add these variations on on your services um, and you can also create um, like bundles uh, so if we go in here and we want to do not a new category but a new service uh, so yeah, this is also a feature that is coming, uh, which is to add the clauses, which I think will be very helpful because I'm getting a lot of questions uh, on this here on YouTube, uh, also in other places to be able to offer uh, like clauses where groups can book, uh, but that's not available yet. So you can create services and then you can create either a single service or a package. So basically what a package is, is essentially like a service, but it just contains multiple services. So, you know, you can set these packages up here if you wanted to. And uh, what we're going to look at now is just a single service. So let's say we wanted to create a new service. I'm just going to show you quickly kind of the, the features available here. Uh, obviously, you give it a name. You'll specify, you know, what type of treatment this is. Uh, you can give it a category, you know, so that people know which category does this fit in, in under. You can add a short description. Uh, should it be for men or women you know you can specify that should people be available to book this online uh, yes or no which locations so let's say we just want to show this at the the example salon we're working with now uh, which staff can actually conduct the service so you might say that okay that's only for lisa this particular one and um, should staff be able to earn a commission on this service that you can have enabled or, or disabled um, and then you have your pricing options uh, where you can do a few different things so you can add like variations like you saw like the long hair short hair example you can add more like pricing of options if this would be for long hair and you would want to have one for short hair uh, and then you can have a different different price for these tiers uh, but you can do something which is quite advanced you can go in on the advanced pricing options which allows you to first like control by location what the price should be 
Uh, so maybe you have multiple locations and uh, you know same service but you know different prices based on where where the service is conducted or you can set it by staff as well so if you have one service but you know different prices for different members of staff you would specify here on on kind of staff level as well uh, the pricing for that service so you know quite some sophisticated options here for adding you know variations to your pricing extra time is helpful so that's basically you can add extra time at the end of the service so that could be like if you have processing times so basically like at the end you know the staff member could start you know another appointment uh, you could add that in which makes them available to book uh, even if the appointment is a bit longer uh, or you can have blocked times if you just need time to you know clean things up after the appointment or you know what it might be uh, you can add you know block time in after the appointment as well you can specify if there are specific resources needed. That could be a room, that could be you know tools or something like that to conduct this service, just to make sure that you know you don't double book these resources. And so you can specify like okay, which resource is required for this. And then you have some tax settings. Uh, should this be available also for voucher sales, um, which you can enable here on on the service as well. Uh, so just wanted to kind of show you a quick overview of uh, you know your options here when adding services adding services in now what i wanted like like you know go into more which is actually quite unique for fresha and uh, not many uh, software platforms support this and that's under paid plans so uh, you know we've talked about the service menu now you know categories creating uh, individual services and also these uh, service packages uh, but you also have something called paid plans and basically what paid plans is um, you have two options here you can create this based on kind of a as a subscription uh, or you can create this as a one-off so you could create a paid plan let's actually do it together so that you see what this is and um, you can give it a name uh, yeah we don't need to do my paid plan uh, you know you give it a description and you can set which services would be included in this so you can have a number of services and the number of times they would be eligible to take those services and then you can charge a either one-time payment or a recurring payment meaning like basically you could sell uh, one of these paid plans if it's a you know six month plan or something which gives them access to whatever three Three, three services or something like this for you know you know a certain price and um, you can do that as a one time or you can have this as a recurring one which kind of becomes a you know subscription or even like a you know membership you could have at your salon you could offer you know every month you know people who have bought into this and are paying for this every month are eligible for maybe like a touch-up service at your location or or something like this in order to kind of create that recurring uh, revenue into your into your business as well um, which is, uh, you know, something that I don't see that many platforms are, are doing. So that's, you know, I think quite an interesting, uh, quite an interesting feature here for your services is your paid plans, um, and then you can do like some customization in terms of what that looks like when they were purchased, it, certain terms and conditions, uh, that you want to offer, and also if people should be able to purchase that online. Um, so that's your like paid plans. So in a nutshell, uh, you know, we spent a little bit more time here on, on services because I think it was more to go through. But you see there's some powerful things in here, both when it comes to like pricing and so on on your services, having these paid plan options as well. Um, so next, I want to go through some other things in here. We're going to go briefly on inventory. I don't think there's too much that we need to go in here. Basically, this is where you manage uh, all your products, where you manage suppliers, um, when you manage your, where you manage your stock and your brands. So you know, you know, more straightforward is in terms of like how you have all the information on on these products. We're not going to go into all the details, uh, all the details of that here. Um, but yeah, that's where you get all the information, sales history, and so on for for specific products, and that's where you manage in inventory. Uh, if we go to analytics. Um, this gives you first like a dashboard, which is kind of similar to what we saw before with sales. So you get a snapshot overview of kind of today, maybe you want to look at yesterday, how many appointments did you have, sales, um, 
you know you get a nice graph for appointments and for sales in here so you can have some of your you know kpis that you want to that you want to look at uh, you'll have them here easily um, but where what i think is quite powerful is when you go into reports um, you have kind of all types of reports that you can pull here uh, to help you understand you know how your business is performing and do you know whatever analysis that you want right and uh, so you can pull you know sales by clients by staff um, by item all these type of things um, you can uh, you can you know pull reports for here see you know buy service item sold month to date if you want to go into different time perspective you know to just get an understanding on you know what's what's happening in your business uh, it's quite advanced in terms of like all the reports that you can do and uh, this is also easy to export if you wanted to have that like as a PDF in Excel or some some other format um, so as you can see you have yeah, finance sales inventory appointments vouchers staff clients uh, all these type of reports available to you there um, and then you know as part of the you know core section here the last one would be the the setup where you configure all the settings uh, so this is where you manage like your locations your resources that you you know want to set up for your business that's all managed in here of the general account settings like for example what we talked about earlier in terms of like you know the color that you want to use on the on the calendar should that be based on service group employees and uh, the status of the appointment um, i'm not going to go through all the nitty gritty here uh, but basically it's under setup where you can configure all these things templates for invoices uh, you know, all, all these settings is where you find uh, on, on the setup. Okay, so that was kind of like the, you know, again, the base features that you have access to uh, as part of the free, free subscription, free plan, uh, you know, at no cost to you. Uh, so what I want to talk about next is Fresha Plus. Um, so this is kind of an add-on and uh, that you will activate uh, for your account. Also the Fresha Plus add-on is uh, basically there's no monthly subscription free subscription fee to this either uh, but there are some other costs associated with this that I wanted to go uh, into you with uh, and again in a nutshell what Fresher Plus does it enables you to allow for online booking to be visible on the Fresher marketplace to send out SMS and to accept card payments I think would be like the big things and um, that you activate using Fresher Plus um, so just to kind of walk you through what, uh, you know, costs and so on. I um, just wanted to kind of, just so, to make sure that you're, you're clear on that. Because again, there's no, there's no monthly charge, there's no subscription fee for it. Uh, but there will be a transaction fee that applies when someone, you know, books an appointment uh, using your online tool. So either on the Fresher Marketplace, via your website, when you're using that uh, uh, the, the online booking from Fresha. Also, when someone pays uh, for their appointment, uh, you know there will be a um, transaction fee, or when they accept your no-show protection. Like, but what I just want to be clear about that this is not really based on, you know, these things alone, right? This is based on the full booking, so you will be charged that transaction fee on the full booking. So it doesn't matter if you know they booked online and they paid with credit card using Fresha payments. There's like there's one charge for that uh, overall appointment um, and so I'm going to leave a link also to this page because you can go here because this and click on check your fees which will be different for different countries like if I look to the US right now the uh, per transaction so for for each booking it's 2.19 percent plus 20 cents which basically then covers you know credit card transaction fees and you know whatever other costs on on fresh aside for uh, you know for the, for that appointment which will be charged at the end of each appointment uh, and that you're then you're then billed for and there's also two more like one off fees that you should be aware of uh, one is like when you're using the fresher marketplace and new clients are booking with you for the first time on fresher marketplace and uh, there will be a 20 percent fee on that appointment because you know fresher is helping you bring in new clients that way uh, and this is something that will only be charged you know the first time so when the client is really like a new client and they are you know finding you on the fresher marketplace so this will not apply to existing clients or when they book you know on your website or you know via your social media or basically you know when you have done the marketing let's say 
uh, you know that does not apply. So it's really for new clients booking on the Fresher Marketplace um, that you will be charged that 20% for the appointment. Um, so smart tip here is of course like if you're using maybe you're using a different tool today or you have uh, you know some system where you're storing your client details. You know, if you if you're moving to Fresha, and uh, that would be to make sure you have those details uploaded into Fresha, so that Fresha knows that this is not a new client, but it's someone that you have in your database. Because if you don't do that, then Fresha will believe that if someone books you on the marketplace, even though they were already a customer, but you haven't uploaded that data, it will be seen as a new client, right? Uh, and you would be charged that 20% fee. So that's just a you know tip to make sure to kind of go through that exercise. If you're setting up fresh and new, uh, and you have uh, client data all already, uh, the third fee is also for messages. Uh, it's for like when you do uh, blast messages. So when you're sending, you know, SMS or email out to uh, like a bigger group of your customers, uh, which we will go into in uh, in you know just a bit inside of the tutorial, like how that works. But there's also a small small fee applied when you do that. So, you know, that's the fees that you should expect that will be coming from, you know, when you activate Fresha Plus. And what I think is really cool here is like, uh, you know, this means you're kind of really paying, f you know, when Fresha is generating money for you in a way, right? So it's only based on when they're booking, you know, for the appointment or when you're marketing uh, your business on their marketplace. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're incurring that cost when you are generating money. Uh, when you're generating money so just wanted to kind of like double click a bit on that just so that we're we're clear uh, on like you know this subscription free and the free pricing like you know where are where are the costs um, and uh, yeah so again like I'll make sure to leave a link to this so if something that I went over wasn't clear go in and read this this is very helpful I think the the article here that goes through that goes through their pricing uh, okay so like what I wanted to go into next is some of these Fresha Plus features, uh, and we're going to start with uh, online booking, which naturally is a very important feature, right? If you're not running with online booking today, you know this is a major time saver on your side, also convenience for your clients to be able to book you, you know, whenever fits them. And um, so you would need to go in and to activate that. I have that set up now for this test account that we're running. So I'm just going to show you how this works. And um, so what you're going to need to do is to create an online profile. And your online profile is basically what's visible on the Fresha marketplace. So if I go in here, um, uh, you will see basically what it would look like if someone were to visit uh, this example salon on the Fresha marketplace. So here you can add in images, have information obviously about your location. You can configure your opening hours, which I haven't done. Uh, you know, you can add a more description. I just added like this is a test for the sake of the for the video. But obviously you would have more information uh, to put in here to make people interested in in booking with you. And uh, this is where they can purchase your vouchers, your paid plans, if you have that, your services, uh, you know, by category, or if they want to, you know, book via via staff as well. And um, so that's kind of your presence on the Fresha marketplace. Like this is not the page I would recommend that you link to, like in your marketing or from your website, for example, because when people land on here, they're kind of, you know, they're on the Fresha marketplace. Like if you scroll down, you will start to see like, okay, other salons in the nearby area and so on, which you don't really want to, you know, show your clients that you have been marketing to or to your existing clients, right? Um, so you don't want to send them to this page. Similarly, because you're on the Fresher Marketplace, if you have attracted a new customer here uh, and they're booking you from here, it will look like they booked you on the Fresher Marketplace and you will be charged, you know, that fee for new clients who find you on the Fresher Marketplace. So this is not where you want to send them. Um, this is just for kind of your presence on that portal. So what you want to leverage is something called direct links. Um, so what direct links allows you to do is basically, yeah, to link to your booking page. So you can choose if you want to link to your entire service menu um, or if you want to link to specific services. So if you want to link to a specific service, you would go and create the link. You can specify, you know, which location, which member of staff, 
uh, like which service, right? And create a very specific link if you wanted to, you know, you know, drive a specific service with a certain member of staff in some of your marketing somewhere. Um, you can create that link, um, or you could just link to your, you know, full service menu. Similarly, you can link to paid plans and vouchers that we covered briefly earlier. And so let's say you want to link to your entire service menu. You would choose the location if you have multiple, like in this test account, there's, there's a few in here. Um, and we'll just do create link. You can share that as a QR code uh, in order to access that, or you'll just grab the, the URL generated for you. And then, you know, we can go on preview just to show you what that looks like. So this is where you kind of from your website, you know, would link out for people to book. And uh, now we just let link to everything, right? Uh, but typically, you know, you might let, let link into your services or, you know, however you set, want to set that up. Uh, but this is what it will look like. People will come here and they will go book an appointment. And you will see, you know, be able to browse the different service categories that you have set up. And um, as you remember, when we walk through services, uh, you can go in and select the specific service that you want. If you have variations as well. Um, that we saw how we could set up under uh, under services. So I'm just taking an example here. You'll go and book now. You'll select the member of staff. Um, you know if you have a preference. Uh, so let's say we're selecting one member of staff. Then you'll see the calendar for uh, this member. Like what time do you want to book? And this will then take you to where the client, unless they already have a you know a an account with with Fresha, they will need to create an account. And, you know, fairly simple information to, to fill out in order to create that, that account and to, to book their service. And what you can do here as well, which I don't have enabled now, is no show protection. So I'll show you that later on as well. If you wanted to capture credit card details already at this stage in order to be able to charge a, a no show fee, and uh, that is something that you could enable as well. But kind of in a nutshell, this is what your booking experience would look like. Um, when people go through when people go through your page, uh, so like you know what you'll see here is that I think overall the page looks great. It's easy. It's you know simple to follow. It's a nice and smooth booking process, uh, but you will not be able to change the design of the page. So in terms of like colors and fonts and what this looks like, you know that's what you're gonna work with. Um, so. Uh, you know, that could potentially be one limitation with Fresha, like you cannot change font, you cannot change, um, you know, if you want to look it more, have it look more like your brand. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have the option to uh, embed uh, the booking on your website, which, you know, is good from a brand experience, right? When you can actually, like inside your website, you actually have like a booking widget uh, where you can go in and select your appointment. That's currently not supported. So basically, uh, again, it's like super easy to set up. It's super easy for the client to book you, but you're kind of restricted to, you know, the design, the look and feel uh, that you saw on, uh, you know, on the example page that I just uh, that I just show you. Um, so that's kind of the the booking experience. You have like some other integrations, which basically means connecting this in with your social accounts, reserved with Google. Uh, so Fresha is one of these approved partners with Google. So you can have like a book now button in your Google My Business profile. Uh, you know, we're not going to go into what, what Google My Business and all of that is. We're covering like marketing strategy and stuff like that in other, other videos here on the channel. Uh, but, um, but yeah, you can integrate there similarly with uh, Facebook and with Google Analytics so that you can see, you know, how many visitors do you get to your booking page. Uh, if you're running paid advertising on Facebook, for example, you could leverage the Facebook pixel. Okay, so, you know, if you're not familiar with that, don't worry. Uh, you know, again, like marketing strategy and activities that you can run for your, for your salon is stuff that we talk about on the channel. So, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you're interested in that, you know, make sure you make sure you do that, of course. But, uh, you know, all that is in here so that you can, um, you know, make sure that you uh, can leverage these tools. And um, there's some other settings in here. Things like, you know, cancellation, rescheduling, you know, how many hours in advance do you allow for uh, availability, uh, other important information that they book. There's th things like that that you can configure in here. 
Um, the other part that we didn't talk about is just client reviews. Um, so on the Fresher Marketplace, people will be able to leave reviews for your, for your business. You, you know, and reviews is, is very powerful and it's really important for a salon business. Uh, something that we talk about on the channel a lot as well. Um, so you know, Fresher allows that on, on their platform and this is kind of where you track these uh, reviews as they come in. Uh, okay, so that's the online booking and the online booking experience. Uh, let's next go into marketing. So what's meant with like marketing here is essentially your ability to send messages and emails and notifications to your clients. Uh, and there's two types of ways that Fresha offers you to do this. You have something called smart campaigns and something called blast messages. Uh, let's talk briefly about smart campaigns. So. Uh, you know, smart campaigns uh, are things that tie in to different events. So you could set this up so that a certain message goes out, you know, on clients' birthdays, when they are, you know, joining you for the first time, you could have like a new client message. Um, you know, if you have clients who haven't actually been, you know, you know, had clients there, but they haven't shown up for a while, you can send a specific message to them, uh, you know, after a certain period of time. Um, so that's what smart campaigns is about. They are, you know, tied to dif these different events and therefore like, you know, work in the background for you uh, and kind of like runs some of these marketing activities without you needing to think about it, which is always something that we try to strive for here at the salon business because, you know, as a salon owner, you have so many priorities and so much to do, right? So having kind of things running in the background is really powerful and smart campaigns will help you with that. Uh, then you have blast messages. So blast messages is different in the way that kind of here you can send, you know, an SMS or an email uh, or both, you know, out to all your customers or to a you know, segment of your customers. So let's say you're running a special offer that you want to promote. Maybe you have a quick update, like you just like reopening or, you know, you have, you know, something happening. You can send that. You can, you know, there, there's some certain blast message templates ready there for you. Um, and when you create these, you can choose like, should this be an email? Should this be an SMS? Uh, seems like WhatsApp is something that is coming soon. Pretty straightforward with an SMS, right? You can kind of, you know, give it a message, uh, a name, sorry, so that you can keep track of what, which message it is. Uh, you write a note and you can include a link. So if you want a book now link or a custom link and that goes out to an, as an SMS to your, to your clients. Um, or if you were to create an email, so let's go into an existing one here. Um, so, you know, when you create an email, you're using this editor, which gives you a nice preview. Uh, you can first give it a name more for your sake to keep track of which one it is. You give it an email subject, reply to email address. Do you want to show a photo or not in the email? And uh, what should the title be that you see here? What should the message be? Do you want a book now button? Maybe you want a custom button that takes them somewhere else. And you can configure that in here. If you have your social media, you, you know, you can activate these, these buttons at the bottom of the screen. So like, I think this email editor is like super easy to use, right? Even if you have no past experience whatsoever of, you know, doing email marketing, you will be able to create something really quick that looks nice. Uh, but in the end, it's, it's somewhat limited, as you can tell, like you have your title, you have your message. It's somewhat limited in terms of how much can you customize this? Uh, so clearly the benefit here is like speed. It still looks professional, right? You can do some styling primarily on color. So you can change like background colors, you know, colors of the button uh, and your different links. Uh, but you would not be able to change, you know, fonts or uh, to be able to add in more images and to customize it more. So you're kind of, uh, you know, locked into this framework, which again makes it really easy. But if you're looking for more customization options, you might find you know this to be somewhat limiting but for the majority of people seeing this this is kind of more than enough and i think the fresher team have really you know th thought through like the common use cases here uh, to make this just easy uh, for you to run so when you've styled your message you go to next step and you will be able to segment your uh, the groups that you want to send it to so you could of course send this to all your clients if you wanted you could you know, go for a client group, if it's new clients, uh, loyal clients, and you know, depending on what you select here, so like loyal clients, this would be you know, with um, three or more sales within the past two months. All these you can modify, so like what should the criteria be for them to be considered a loyal client? 
so you can kind of create these segments uh, of your uh, customers that you want to, to send the email to. And then for each of these blasts that you send out, you will see how many people am I sending this to, and then you will be charged a fee for those send outs. So that's like, as we talked about Fresher Plus and the pricing, this is one additional cost um, to have in mind if you're sending a lot of big uh, email blasts or SMS blasts out your list. Uh, but uh, in the end, um, uh, like the smart campaigns, they doesn't cost anything. So this you can have running in the background. It's really for these like blast messages that you just should be prepared for uh, an extra fee as well uh, that will be applied. Um, so that's the marketing. And there's a few more things here that are interesting uh, other than marketing in the Fresh Up Plus offering. You have consultation forms. So essentially what these are is like, you can set up a form and that goes out when someone books a specific type of service or when someone uh, books with you for the first time. So if you want to collect certain like client information uh, and you want them to sign that or something like, that, like a contract before, you can set that up in here using, using forms. Uh, really easy to do, you just kind of drag and drop. So you want to have client details, what information do you want to collect? First name, email. Uh, maybe you say, okay, that's the information I, I want to uh, uh, you, you, I want to collect. So it could be less, just something like this. And then you can add in this custom section and to see, okay, I want to have uh, uh, you know, you'll call that what you want. And here you can configure, so what, what are the type of questions I want to ask this person? So you ask, the, you know, you write the question, you select the type of answer they should give. Should it be a long answer? Should it be a yes or no drop down and these kind of things? And uh, so let's say, you know, we're starting with a, uh, no, let's do just a, I'll do a yes or no. And then we can add in uh, maybe a long answer after that. Add that in and you can kind of build out this this form here uh, and then you can see in a preview what it looks like so they will fill out their information they'll go to the next step answer your questions uh, that you've added in into this right so that's just how you create the consultation form and in the next step you will be able to see like should this go up before appointment every time or only the only once should it be for specific services or for all your services so you can configure that so that that is sent out captured should it require a signature or not uh, and that that is captured ahead of of the appointments so that's just how you work with with consultation forms you know like with everything in fresh i think super intuitive and easy to use um, and just very helpful uh, and the card processing this is actually where you set up no show protection that i talked about in the in the demo where we looked at how you know the booking experience so if you wanted to have no show protection you enable that in here and then you have different policies available to choose from here. Uh, if it should only be like leaving a card, there's no uh, no show fee. Should it be a fee, ten percent? Uh, you know, you have different options here that you can that you can choose for choose from. And you know, what's the the time uh, that you want to allow for cancels and reschedules? That is what you do in here. And here is just where you kind of activate your your card. So that's what you can do under under card processing. Uh, finally, under client messages, this here you'll get an overview of basically all the messages that are going out to your clients so that you easily can see uh, you know, what is being sent. Uh, you also have some settings here uh, where you can configure these messages which are being sent out across email, text message, and also app notifications. So if your client has the Fresha client app installed, they can also get like notifications on there. So here you'll just set up like, okay, which notifications do I want to run with? Uh, do I want for like new appointments, there should be something sent up, sent out. Uh, when an appointment is rescheduled, so if we're moving things around, we want to notify the client about that change. Um, you know, you'll set that up in here. And uh, you know, you have all these different events basically when an appointment is canceled and so on, where you can configure how you want that to work. So. If we take reschedule, like, do you want to enable this? Yes or no? Do you want to display the service price? It's kind of like standard. You get a text message, email, app notification. You can kind of see what that looks like. If you have some other important information that you want to add in at the bottom, you'll add that in here as well. So here's really where you control 
uh, all these notifications that are being sent out and in the end like you know helping you making sure to reduce no shows and, and all the other benefits of, of doing that right so that's just built in straight to to the tool and um, so we've covered a lot of the features i wanted to go through also like you know basically like summarize my takes on the pros of fresha and the limitations as well and um, i think you've already like just looking at this as we go through it you have a good idea uh, about fresha now and how it works um, and how it would fit with your business um, but like some of the real strengths i would say and why i you know like really like this tool is like it's insanely easy to use uh, it's, and it's very like nice and clean in terms of interface uh, i'm sure you agree with that when kind of we go through i think that's a key strength of the platform so even if you have no technical experience and all that you know you don't need to worry and um, this is all kind of set up in a way that just makes it very easy to get going with i think they also have a very helpful uh, like help center um that you can go at like for example in here you'll get all your questions uh, answered uh, they also have a, a youtube channel where they publish like specific tutorials like we didn't go that deep on all the features here right but if you want to learn exactly how do i set certain things up and so on uh, you know they have a good help center and youtube channel for that as well uh, also it's you know obviously the benefit is the fact that it's subscription free right so you actually don't pay a like monthly just you know subscription for using the tool you really only pay when fresha is helping you generate income um, which obviously is a very strong point point. Uh, you'll also have access to the marketplace with fresha which you know is fairly unique not all <laughs> salon software for sure have that ability with their own kind of like marketplace where clients can find you so that way you know it also becomes a tool for you to get to get new clients in uh, and i would say like you know in terms of features it's really rich and i think you've seen that as well like there's a lot of like advanced features in there and it's all like under one hood so you know when you get familiar with the platform you have access to a lot of power there you know all in one place you know you have subscription payments and you know quite advanced uh, you know calendar features and and things like that uh, which you will get um in fresha you know despite being kind of subscription free so I think it's a really, really strong tool. Some of the limitations that I've called out already uh, for you to be mindful of is, I think like, you know, being able to customize like the look and feel of your booking page. We talked about that earlier, right? If it's important for you to be able to create, you know, a very consistent brand experience so that the, the way things looks when people book, you know, is in line with your website. You know you will you will find that there's some limitations in terms of what you can do that you cannot embed it you know on the site but you're linking up out to this kind of standard booking site which honestly looks great and for most businesses this is perfectly fine uh, also like not having the ability to customize also means like not having the ability to screw up you know on the way because the more you can change the more risk it is that you know suddenly it doesn't work on mobile phones or you know you run into these troubles so but that's one point you have some limitation when it comes to branding experience and uh, the other limitation i would say is also on integrations so like you you can you can integrate for sure like your booking page so people can book from your social profiles and from google my business and all that but let's say you know you wanted to use a different accounting software like you wanted to use quickbooks or maybe for your marketing your email marketing you wanted to use a different tool to send out your emails that allow for you know more customization and so on Currently, there's no way for these tools to integrate with the Fresha platform so they can get kind of, you know, client data and so on. So you can run that there, but you would need to, you know, export those things in Excel and so on in order to use that data in other platforms. So I would say that's kind of a limitation. At the same time, I know Fresha's vision is also to make things simple, right? And to have everything under one hood. And they have a lot of features in there, which just makes make things very easy, right? So that's the benefit of managing everything in one place but certainly that could be something that could be seen as uh, seen as a limitation um, and then you know what what to be mindful of as well is like obviously when when people are booking with you at fresha they need to create a fresha uh, fresha market profile in order to kind of uh, to, to book with you 
um, which is you know not really a problem. Like when it, when it comes to your client data, you can see all your client data, you can export all your client data, and you kind of have full control on that. But I know that can be sometimes a, a concern that you know they need to create a fresh up profile. Um, you know I've heard that could be raised. So that's just also like one thing to be to be mindful of. Uh, but uh, you know that that's what I would say in terms of limitations. Support on the tool is great. Uh, they don't have a phone number, just so that you know that if phone support is really important for you, uh, you know, that's a limitation. But they have great email support and, uh, you know, the Fresh Help Center that I've already talked about and YouTube videos and whatnot to make sure that you don't get stuck, uh, which has certainly been, uh, you know, sufficient for me uh, as well when, when using the tool. Um, so, like, overall, I think, like, if you know this is a really great tool if you're looking for something that is like super easy to use uh you know it doesn't cost anything until it actually starts you know bringing value into your business uh you get a lot of advanced features it's all under one hood and just hangs together uh that is like you know very easy to use you get a lot of these like out of the box um things for for your marketing standard templates and everything just makes it very easy if you have no experience to get going with you know then fresha is is a great is a great tool to tool for you um of course like i touched on earlier if you're looking for more of that customization more of that control integration and some of these more advanced things you might find some some limitations but ter- you know to, you know i give this tool certainly a you know top score for for what it does like this the the simplicity all the power that you get in there uh, and also like not being tied to a subscription or anything i think just makes makes this tool really strong so i hope you found this review and tutorial of fresha helpful uh, naturally i'm very excited about this platform and i i think you are too um, so you know i'm getting a lot of questions around this subject of salon software so i will be doing more videos uh, talking about Salon software here on the channel, uh, which I will be linking to on the screen as well, uh, so that you can learn more. And I've also put together this comparison of different tools, where Fresha is also included, um, so that you can kind of you know make a good decision about the platform uh, that is right for you, which I'm linking to inside of the description below. So again, thanks for sticking around to the end. If you want more tips, ideas, uh, reviews, and things like that, subscribe to this channel because then you won't miss out. Uh, every week when there's new content coming out on the channel. Have an awesome rest of the day and I look forward to seeing you inside of an upcoming video.